Deciding your career mode, right, is really important, right? And there's a couple of factors that I actually look at when actually deciding a career mode. So guys, today I'm going to be bringing you how I decide my career mode. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you particularly look for in a career mode? Is it like when you're doing it something completely random and you're like, hmm, what do you look for? So this is what I'm looking for and you could use them for yourself. So make sure you hit that like button and share it with your friends, guys. But anyway, hit that subscribe button as well. Let's go on into my first one. Honestly, the biggest one for me is the the kits. The kits are the biggest thing whatever career mode I do. Am I going to be spending two to three seasons playing this kit, playing over 200 games? Well, I need to like the kits. That's the biggest thing for me. So I kind of lean towards something which is slightly more cleaner type kits or maybe something is more adventurous and I really like it on my eye. If I'm just not a fan of the kit, like uh, I think it was Stevenage this year maybe, I wasn't really the biggest fan of of that kit so I thought you know what I don't particularly want to go there and it's the same with the badges as well if I don't like the badge I'm not gonna go it right that's just me it's just me is why I decide okay so down that line when you're on that screen is the budget so I'm looking at the budget that I actually want so no matter what I'm actually doing as a creamer where is the road to glory whether it's a more prestigious type crew mode, I look at the budget. So, is that budget going to be catered to what I want to achieve in this crew mode? Because, for example, with a Road to Glory side, you don't want to be with a team which has such a low budget, it kind of like, well, what am I going to do for the first two seasons? Well, you don't want to have that. So, I look at that budget. Okay, what do I need to do? Okay, I just want to focus on you so I don't mind having a lower budget. So, that's fine. But I want to actually buy players, so I need a higher budget. So, I look at all those different Well, there is the league. The league is quite important, actually. I like doing cream mode, which was really quite random, and then I switch from one team to another. I like doing cream mode hopping, so I don't start new saves. I literally go from one team to another for about 10 seasons, and then call it a day. So what I actually like to do is actually try a couple of new leagues. I, do, I like doing the A League, the MLS, uh, the Japanese League, uh, and so on and so forth. I like trying out different leagues, trying out new teams, and seeing how they're doing. So like at the minute, off screen, I'm actually doing it into Miami crew mode, which I have created uh, two creative players in there because I thought, you know what, I want to have a pro in there. So I got two creative players in there. I got a goalkeeper and a striker because they were the two positions I used to play as football. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to have it in it. It's going to make it nice and fun for me. And I like trying out those new leagues. So taking consideration of the league that you want to do and so on and so forth. It's a really good idea. So the team they already have is actually super important to my deciding of a career mode. So when I'm actually looking at a team, I want to see if they've got any hidden gems. It doesn't matter if they haven't got lows. I'm talking about two or three. If they haven't really got anything and I'm kind of like, well, I want a couple of players to remain in the side. That's what I love to do because I'm... Don't particularly want to do overhaul in a career mode. So I don't want to join a team, completely sell everyone and be like, okay, that's my save done, right? That's not what I want to do. Sometimes I like to actually keep some of the players which are already in the side and make them into this next absolute stunning gem. So that's what I kind of look for. I look into the side a little bit and be like, okay, do they have any hidden gems? Are they going to be worth anything or is this completely overhauling? We have a look at that. So, they were my tips or what I do to actually pick a career mode. So, usually I pick a team that I like. Like, that's tender where I fall. But if I'm going, right, you know what? We're going to go completely random this time. I look at all those different factors and think, right, what are we going to do here? What do I want to do as a career mode? So, what is my objective here? And I look at all those different factors. I look at the kits. I look at the team. You know, so on and so forth. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any, like, what do you look for in a career mode? Is it the kits or is it more? Let me know in that comment section. We could know your thoughts. Make sure you do smash that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. We're super, super close to 7,000 subs. Just saying, thank you so much for your amazing support. You're all the best and you're all utter legends. Honestly, thank you so much. You're changing the world. But anyway, my name is Galazio and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Check Bye -bye. it up.